I think, you know, if you ride that roller coaster, it's tough. As an athlete, this is your profession. The way to truly experience growth in life is by getting outside of your comfort zone and doing things that you normally wouldn't do. It has been said that on the other side of fear is true bliss. So when you're uncomfortable doing something, that's a good sign. That means you're growing and maturing and learning and you're just improving overall as a person. I'm always thinking, wow, what, what coverage is? Okay, then what route can I signal that I can? You think it's hard, but that's okay. That's a good sign because that means you're doing the right thing. If it's hard and uncomfortable, that's what you want because the more you do it, the easier it gets. If a lot of people find that hard or uncomfortable, they're not gonna do it. They're just gonna stop and give up. But if you keep going and pushing through these uncomfortable times, it will equate to so much growth and knowledge gained just from doing things you wouldn't normally do. You know, everything's a reflection of how you see the game and you wanna make sure everyone's on the same page. It can be as small as just speaking to somebody that you wouldn't normally speak to, or holding the door, or eating some new food. It doesn't have to be extreme in any way, but getting outside of your comfort zone will truly change your life for the better and you'll learn and be so happy that you've done these things because you will know things that you never would have thought you could know or understand or even think about doing. And through all these experiences, you are going to learn an insane amount of information that you didn't know was even possible. And you're going to want to love to learn in order to be successful because the more you know and the more experience you get out of life, the more versatile you can be in any situation. That knew that I'd like to work, that knew that I love football, that knew that I love to play. I love the experience and I think that it's, you know, life is about stretching, you know, being outside your comfort zone and I think it was just good timing and um, I felt like it would be nice to share with the fans what my life was all about. Well, I think I have, you know, curiosities in many ways and I, you know, I think a lot of it is learning and, and loving to learn. Since I was a kid, just loving the experience of learning new things, um, learning how they impact my life, learning how they impact my relationships. You know, I, I just, I want to live a great, impactful, purposeful life and I want to impact people from the lessons that I've learned and see if people can learn anything and try to, you know, relate it in their life some way. You know, working on my technique, on my fundamentals, on my, all the things with my training that I still feel like I can be better be a percentage better. I played a long time. It's not like you go, hey man, I'm gonna become something different. No, I am what I am, I know my strengths. I've improved on some of the weaknesses. I didn't have all those physical traits at the time, so I had to work to develop other traits, you know, leadership, perseverance, determination, work ethic. And I think some of those things were a part of me. Discipline, I wanna be able to play, I wanna be able to ski, I wanna be able to surf, I wanna do, I like to be active, I like to, you know, that's what I enjoy. I have enough experience to know it's not that easy, let me say that. There's a lot of things that go into getting to this point in the season in. and um, it's a lot of hard work it's a lot of effort it's a lot of uh, doing the right thing on a consistent basis mentor people whether it's a physical issue whether it's you know something with their training or their playing that needs help whether it's a mental issue their approach to how they have to do their job and what they need to do in order to do their job and then the emotional issue which is you know how do you show up with a consistent um, positive attitude to be the best you could be and I think if those three things you know you got to find the right balance in all those things uh, it's a very physical sport it's a very mental sport it's it's, it's definitely not, you know, this is a thinking man sport, you know, football. This is not, you know, this is not checkers. This is more chess. Mentally, they don't put enough work in or emotionally, they're too immature to ever realize what their potential could be. So they make poor decisions and then poor decisions over time, of course, don't allow you to be the best you could be. So part of it, and again, being an older player is to mentor people on what I think I see in them and what they can become themselves. It's still a really fun thing for me to be able to do. As long as I feel good, as long as I continue to work hard and make the commitment, it requires a lot of discipline that's one thing I was you know God had given me when I was young it was some discipline you know get up and try to make the right decisions and when your priorities are in order and you could make decisions based on what your priorities are you know I believe you know you can extend your career as a lot of you know athletes are trying to do now when I first started it wasn't necessarily like that and I think now athletes may look at my situation things I've been through and say wow maybe I can get to 40 also which is pretty cool well I would say I was a very late bloomer uh, you know, through high school and early into college, um, you know, I was kind of growing into my body in a lot of ways. And I would say my routine and the things that I did weren't very good. They weren't very conducive to my goals with, you know, how I was working out and early in my career where I didn't envision myself being able to continue to play because my arm hurts so bad all the time. And that was very motivating for me because when you work hard at certain things and you don't get the benefit, it's really discouraging. I was working hard at the right things and I thought that it was really showing, you know, in my performance. I didn't have an easy experience. 
I didn't have come in as a top rated recruit. I didn't come in with the opportunity to play right away. I had to earn it. And you know what the greatest honor I've ever received as a player is? In my fourth year and my fifth year, I was named team captain. That to this day is the single greatest achievement I've ever had as a football player. And all the lessons that I learned here on State Street and in the big house, that's still what I bring to practice today. And after 14 years, I love the game more than I've ever loved it. But where did I learn the love for the game? Where did I learn to practice? Where did I learn to compete? It was sitting in the same chairs that you guys are sitting in today.